Hey, what's up? Steven Seidel, Renegade Reporting. We are live at the red carpet here at the Hollywood Improv. Renegade style. It's Renegade style. Are you looking forward to some comedy tonight? Yes, I'm looking forward to comedy. How you doing tonight? I'm doing real good. You want to see some ass crack? There you go. Boom. So what brings you down? Are you supporting some of the comedians, you know, friends with Scotty or CCM? Or? Hey, listen, I've been a comedian all my life. This is what my mom told me. And so I'm here to support other comedians What are getting paid for it. Big fan, we got a really good lineup tonight, and I'm really excited to see all these guys perform. That's right, see some funny guys and some funny ladies put on a funny show. Yeah, it's all about the funny. Mm, I love funny people. Funny people are great. Scotty Ward gave me a call, and whatever Scotty Ward's involved with, I'm down. I usually don't perform at uh, comedy clubs. I like to do you know, non-traditional venues, perform in theaters and music rooms and stuff. And uh, Bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. Anything uh, like that, pools. Funerals, wakes, you know, I like to keep it edgy, keep it edgy. I met Scotty through a mutual friend named Billy Worth. He's an actor, a great guy. Yeah, I know Billy Worth. He was Lost Boys, I think. Yeah. He They're remaking that. Are you going to do Lost Boys 3? That's the that's the rumor. So that's the rumor? You haven't even heard that yet. It's just got like... No, actually, it, it, I heard the rumor. And I was like, that is a good rumor. That's a good one. It's a very good it. rumor. So yeah, we're, we're, It's in development. Do you watch a lot of improv? I do. I do. do. What are some of your favorite comedians? Um, I am a huge fan of Jerry Seinfeld. I know it's kind of... Dated, but like he is classic. I saw some pictures of him along the wall. Have you ever seen him perform here? Oh yeah. You More know the number one rule of improv, okay. right? Is yes is and that, so yes. Okay, yes. yes. This is the right spot. I think. Hollywood improv. Red carpet from someone's garage. I think this is where you're gonna meet your next lady. Oh, okay. And what are we doing later? <laughs> do you make the black snake moan? I do. Get out. Find your light, ladies. We gotta find our light. We gotta. It's an improv exercise. That we had the Holiday Improv, watch some comedy, he's going to laugh at you and me, it's Steve Seidel, and Ron Jeremy, Renegade Reporting, that's what we be, we're having fun on the Polo Hotel, where here we go, bam, boom to the left, boom to the right, keeping all night when we having some fun. I was pretty impressed. We just thought that was like, that was like one over the one. That was like gay sex. Was it as good as... That was like in a film, Romeo and Julio. It starts with this kind of rapping. Yeah, I'm kind of the... Then you get cuddly, then you do this, wait. Oh, my, this, the bromance is good. So you're looking good tonight, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like flirting. No, no, you, you can. That's is that okay? So I, I put my arm around you too Absolutely. during this. Whatever you want, okay. whatever makes you comfortable. So um, I'll so do one of these. How's yeah, that? Is just that? right the there. The awkward, the awkward, like, all right, son. All right. Since bromance is so popular these yeah, days, I figured we, uh, everybody's doing it. Obviously, you're going to be doing some stand-up. How's it feel tonight? Oh, it feels fantastic. I, I, uh, I just want to say for the record, I'm usually better looking, but I'm standing next to him, so I look more off-putting than, uh, than usual. Yeah, but you know, you're looking good in the, in the ensemble, the snap-ups. You can't go wrong with the snap-ups, because later on, they can be snapped off with quite... There you just one pull. I'm usually touring around the improv. I sometimes do tours of duty in the Middle East for the. Oh, nice. We, so, where was the last place you were over there? I was in Afghanistan, actually, touring around the country. What, do, what are we wearing tonight, madame? That's a great question. I'm wearing my sister's creation. Thank you. I think that's her over there. I got this at Forever 21. I, I, I'm wearing Oda Whitney. <laughs> oh. I got this at Forever 21. Oh, uh, black. Oh, you look very lovely. I'm wearing blue, so we are like a bad bruise. Did you get your necklace at, by the way? I'm going anywhere. It's, uh, Forever 21. Last time we ran into you was at the Blaze and Confused. Lightly Stupid was on hand. Yeah. Snoop Dogg. Uh, what is something that people don't know about Snoop Dogg that you think that maybe they should know? You know, it's weird. Actually, you would think that uh, because of the stigma behind him and, you know, the weed thing that he'd be real relaxed on, on tour. If you've never seen him in concert, but really he gets, the dude gets the crowd rocking. It's, it's bananas. Check him out on Law & Order. Dun, 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 dun. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. The last this chapter that this she wrote. This is all she you. wrote. What was Me the last you. thing that you wrote? The last thing that I wrote, um, I wrote a bunch of goofballs in um, Tool Academy. I don't know if you guys know that on VH1. We're trying to fix the world, one tool at a time. Is iCarly going to be your girlfriend? Uh, I'm friends with her. Miranda School. I worked on that show too. But uh, nice. yeah. Titanic was great, you know. When I died as, at the end. Yeah, that yeah. Was the best part. When it comes whistle. crashing down. Yeah. With the whistle. That, you know, it was. Okay. I got a funny story about that actually. My stepdad came home and said, "I can't believe he died in the end." That was kind of funny to me too. It really uh, set that movie straight for me. I hate getting in the end. Hotmess.org. It's a little podcast thing that I got going on, and it's dope. Well, this is Renegade Reporting, hotmess.org, all over your face. Steven Sardale's a pimp. What up? This is Whitney Cole, and you're watching Renegade Reporting. Powered by Whitney Cole. Powered by 
more by what it's called. One. Oh! How do I get that? I got like a 19 pack. I got a keg under here. Who's your favorite actor? Uh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. My name's Steven Seidel, so that's pretty close. High five, man. I'm like a magnet to ugly women, so it's just kind of what I do. Oh, hey, Bertha. How do I tell if you're ticklish? You tickle yourself. And I give you a test tickle. Oh. Is that your joke? Yeah, that's my joke. You didn't laugh. <laughs> hey. Oh. See, she fixed it for me. You see that? That's... That's what a wonderful woman does for you. Lisa Marie. I know how to fix things. After this, I'm going to be performing afterwards. I'll probably be out here. So if you could come back, that'd be cool. Yeah, I have a lot more where that came from. Um, you keep them in your joke pocket? Or your joke fanny pack? The fanny pack I left at home tonight. Yeah, I brought my helmet. I brought my helmet. What's up, Dougie? Fresh? Yeah, we're from the Great White North, and we've been traveling for days to get here. I heard you guys are on a canoe, right? What's the biggest misconception about, oh, Canada? Uh, America Junior, no, that's not No, not canoes. cool. Amer yeah, canoes, dude. No. I live in the barrio, man. I yeah, know you know what I mean? Yeah. SA. Gracias, SA. All right. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Right. You guys tuning in, check out CCM. Come any, any event you see they're involved with, come check it out. This is Ron Jeremy. You're watching Renegade Reporting. Watch out for this man. He'll break your heart. <laughs>